Today on the bench we have this Foxanon LED bulb to tear down. Special thanks to One Marcel Films for sending it to me. Like I say, I have a P.O. box now. You can send things in that I can tear down or review or whatever. And I'll leave the information in the description down below. But right now we will take a look at this Foxanon LED bulb. And as I move it around here, I do not see any wattage information. Okay, well, let's uh, turn it on here. Set the Variac for 120 volts. And, well, that's not very bright. Let me turn it up. Okay, I turned it up to as high as this Variac will go. And at my line voltage, it's like 135 volts or so. But it's still really not that bright. I kind of wondered if it's for 240 volts. However, at the rate it goes up, you know, that might be too much for it. Depends if it goes into some sort of regulation or not. When I look closely at the die inside the LED, let me turn that down, see if we can get a focus on that. Camera does swamp out somewhat. But those are just little points of light telling me the die is very small. It's just, you know, they're just using very cheap Chinese LEDs. They look, you know, they don't look like high quality ones. You know, the LED is very large and has a real tiny die inside of it. Okay, let's open it up. Well, the cover spins, but... Oh, it popped right open. Safe to touch? I don't know. I'm going to find something to short that with. Make sure it's uh, okay. It seems safe to touch. So what does this have in it? No fuse, just wires going to the board. We have a uh, bridge rectifier, generic filter cap, Look at that, there's a driver chip under there. Let's see if I can get a number off of that. I don't know if the camera will focus in on that. Okay, so I found this transformer that has two 120 volt primary windings. And I configured it up this way. I have the 120 volts coming into one of the coils and I just added the second coil onto that so it acts as an auto transformer and gives me a total of 240 volts across the windings here. So what I'll do now is adjust the Variac and find the point where this starts regulating. And it seems to get bright and stop right there. And that's about 150 volts AC. Oh, by the way, that chip is an SM2082ED constant current type driver. So it's one of those real simple type circuits where it just comes in through a bridge rectifier, gets filtered and runs through the constant current. And the LEDs are in series with the constant current source. And that's how it works. Okay, let's bring it up to full voltage. Nothing's burning and going bang yet. 240 volts or thereabouts. And it didn't get any brighter. 
and we'll just let it set for a while and see if it gets hot or not. The filter cap inside is rated at 400 volts, so we're safe in that respect. At 2.7 minus 1.2, uh, what would that be? That would be uh, one and a half watts, wouldn't it? So our little cheap bulb is one and a half watts. And I would say that's probably about right, considering the amount of light it puts off. It's, you know, it's not real bright. It's brighter than a nightlight bulb, but, you know, not quite as a general purpose lighting bulb. So, so we'll just let that thing go for a while and see how hot it gets. Okay, it's been gone for about 15 minutes or so, and it's barely warmer than room temperature, so it's not getting hot. I'm pretty confident in saying that this is a 240 volt bulb. I'm not sure where the sender is from who sent it to me. I don't remember looking at the package, but if he's in the US or Canada, not sure why he got 240 volt bulbs unless he had a specific reason or the eBay seller misrepresented them or something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to give this a proper death. It's going to get a death by audio amplifier. And it will allow us to see one more potential issue with the bulb. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've taken some heater wire from this old hair dryer and put it across the leads. It measures 4 ohms. And I'll hook it up to my lab amp, which is just a little LM1875. And we'll stuff it in there and see what happens. But first I want to make sure it comes up to heat. It should, because it is 4 ohm loads. I want to uh, make sure it glows red. Okay, I have the amp hooked up to my old power supply here. The input of the amp is being fed a signal from the function generator. And the output is connected to the coil of wire. So we'll turn it on and see what happens. Nothing. Oh, you know what? It helps to screw the damn thing in. Now... Oh yeah. I can hear, oh I can see, ooh, I can see glowy glowy. That looks quite nice. Okay, let's stuff the lamp back together. Take this outside for obvious reason and hope for some flames. Okay, moved operations outside here. And I'll just fire it up. Well, the activity is on this side. It's having a melt. Whoa! Holy shit! That scared the shit out of me. The capacitor exploded. So the plastic may be fire resistant, I'm not sure, but wow, that capacitor, it got hot and popped. And it was being fed heat externally, and look at that carnage, it blew some of the LEDs off. Wow. 
That's why you should never go near stuff, because it's going to explode right when you least expect it. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching.